Well, after months of litigation, a ban on mask mandates in Iowa schools is being partially reinstated, but it won't be in effect everywhere. Local 5's Carson Reichardt explains what could be changing for kids in the classroom. The original law banning mask mandates took effect back in May, but due to a lawsuit against it, it hasn't been enforced since October. That changed today due to a new ruling from a panel of federal judges. The ruling found that the court order blocking the law's enforcement was too broad and declared that it should only apply to the 10 districts attended by the children of parents involved in the lawsuit. In the ruling, the court argued that plaintiffs are not harmed by the absence of mask requirements at schools that their children do not attend. Mike Baranek, president of the Iowa State Education Association, says this ruling comes at an especially difficult time for educators who are already struggling with COVID. This is just adding one more pressure point, one more um, stressor onto an already stressed environment. And so it's, it's very sad that the federal judge has put this into place. However, there is a silver lining for the parents in the original lawsuit. Under federal law, masks are still allowed in districts with vulnerable students, even if they aren't named in the suit. That's because mask requirements are considered a reasonable modification, and schools' failure to accommodate that likely violates the Federal Rehabilitation Act. If a student has a disability and requests an, uh, an adaption for that student, then the district is required to fulfill that expectation. So what comes next? The lawsuit now goes back to that district judge who will issue a new ruling specifically about the districts named in the suit. In Des Moines, Carson J.S. Reichardt, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.